What's going on, man? It's Tom Kim here, America's face of dating. And today, what we're really going to be talking about, we have a DM here from a viewer named Ryan. And he seems to be a little bit new to my channel, a little bit new to the dating industry and the advice that I'm giving because he has a situation here that most guys, especially if you're new to my channel, new to dating, really new to learning this stuff, it's actually going to be very, very beneficial for you to actually know just some basics of what to do when you, when a girl is definitely into you, when a girl is hating on you, you want to know actually how to handle that and actually escalate it to actually get the results that you want. And so what he really talks about here, his DM, so like I said, it's from Ryan. He says, so strange story. I'm walking to the park to meet with a, with a friend after school and six to nine girls start calling my name and telling me to come to them. I, of course, go to them and we start talking while walking down to the park. And one of them grabs my hand and holds it. It is the first time I've ever been around a girl and be this and been this close to one. And I've never held a girl's hand, so I might have to get nervous. So I so I got nervous and ran off. I don't know if I did the right thing or what it means when the girl held my hand. Please tell me what it means. So Ryan, what it probably means is that that girl, she probably had like a little bit of a crush on you, right? And like that, look, what that tells me is that you've you feel like, I'm, I'm new. I've never really done this with a girl before. I've never really been around a girl before. So it's, you're extremely, extremely new to this world, right? You're extremely new to dating, to attraction, to all the advice that I'm giving here. And so one thing that I would have done there when she really grabbed your hand, it's called the disqualifier, okay? And what the disqualifier is, is very, very basic. To a lot of people, it's very advanced. But to me, it's very, very basic. So let me break it down a little bit for you. So the disqualifier basically is like you put a reason between you two. On why you can't be together and so what I would have done in this situation is that when she would have grabbed my hand and held it this is also like a tease in a way as well basically you're telling her like slow down like because most guys let me tell you this like most guys when they're hitting on a girl they tend to be like just very very clingy very very needy onto her like she like the guy is typically known to come onto the girl very very hard and the way that you make it flirty with a girl is that you make it seem like she is coming on to you very hard, like most guys are doing to her. That's how women actually interpret that as flirting. And what here's the example that I'd give you is that if she grabbed your hand, I'd have been like, I'd have taken it away a little bit. I'm like, whoa, babe, I need like a first date before you do that with me, like before we hold hands, you know, like you can't just be, it's like you're going from like zero to 50, like really fast to zero to 100 really fast. Like, you know, like at least ask me on a date first. And you just stare down just like that and smirk. And the girls are like, oh my gosh, like he's bantering back with her. He's like, he must be interested in her. That's what that's called the disqualifier, okay? And it's also like a little bit of a tease in a way, like I said. Um, I actually talk about this a lot in my online program. Um, if you guys are not in the AMP installment, you really got to get in there because there's actually like a free seven-day trial right now. Like you can literally get all my advanced videos and articles for absolutely free. So it's like you might as well, even if you can't afford it or whatever, you might as well get in there and just take advantage of actually the free trial and watch all that stuff for free. You know, it's like, like I said, like, I don't know if you're not even taking advantage of that. I, you're crazy. I don't know why you're not in there. Um, but literally, I talk about disqualifying, misdirection, push, pull, all up in there. And so it's like, I would highly recommend if you want to actually know what to do. If you're if you're new to attraction and dating and you want to take your skills to the next level, you got to hop in there. At least read my book right here. I got it right here. You at least got to read my book. And so it, it's like... You got to know what to do in these situations because if you could shine awkward and run off, then it's like the girl's like, oh, like he doesn't really know like what to do about this. Like he doesn't really catch the hints. So he must not care about me. He must not like me back. And they're going to move on to a different person who actually knows how to talk to girls, who knows how to actually banter with girls, who knows how to actually flirt with her and make her feel like she's wanted, makes, she, makes her feel like she's special, makes her feel desired, and that's gonna spark that desire within her. And so let me know if that makes sense, but that is one critical flirting technique that will make any girl chase you ever. I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and I will see you next time.